Okay, the good, the bad, the multitasking, and the multitask rants. <laughs> yeah. let, 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 let's, let's clarify, and I will try, because you know what, I had promised doing a video on the Myth, my Mr. Bit 10 channel, Mr. Bit 10 channel. I never had the time to do it, but I will try to tr give a short synopsis of it. There are two caveats in multitasking. One is multitasking, which is not concurrent, and then there's multitasking that is concurrent. Okay. What do I mean by that? Original multitasking on a single process or single thread used to break up a, let's say there was an interrupt system, which we run on interrupts. QNX is a real is a uh, real time system, which means it's clocked. There is no scheduled interrupts, essentially, that work in QNX, which is Black Ray's new operating system, as it would in our traditional interrupt systems and scheduling. You have a queue and something a, a priority can totally interrupt the task and this and that and it's totally boring shit. But anyway, the the just think of a, a single thread coming down. And you had you you wanted to be able to process that thread faster. And and what by doing that you could also take on faster other blocks in the queue above it. Because what you would do is you have a single thread, you would chop thread up, boom, 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 like this, and then you would process them, you would process them if there was two points uh, of inputs for threads from a single stream up, and then it would execute constantly like that. So if you could do that and break them apart into two, this is this cube that's coming down, you would, that was considered multitasking. It was a way of saying, okay, you're going to sleep, I don't need you now, you're in memory, okay, execute this, and it would come down, you could break them apart, and it's pretty much it's how the strings would come down. The other multitasking is, is now since we have multiple cores, is that they run concurrently. And you have the UI user driven stuff talking to kernel threads, and, then, and those threads get executed simultaneously on a. The, the, the perfection of that in computing would probably be massive parallel computing. Uh, but software essentially has to be written when you run a massive parallel computing, which is essentially real time parallel. Everything gets executed in parallel, done, result. Today, like OS X has done good stuff with Grand Central um, Dispatch, which if you if the programmer chooses to write their application using the blocks of Grand Central Dispatch, it will it will to a large extent uh, execute your your uh, application in parallel to, to available resources within the interrupt schedule. So. God, am I too geeky and talking interrupt schedules? Um, <laughs> well, you have uh, to explain this for people to follow what you're talking about. Yeah, That's uh, 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 if you are doing all these email, we're processing all these things. They are competing for resources on, 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 on the CPU and, and RAM. And they, and they have to go on little streets that they drive on, like you would in your car on your freeway. Let's say you go to work on the freeway. All these people from other homes get consolidated on one freeway, right? And you manage your way to get to work. It's essentially very crudely similar. Um, but let's say there's an ambulance that has, you know, they're, they're taking me and then everybody pulls over for that ambulance because that ambulance has priority. They just interrupted your traffic flow, slowed you down, or stopped you on the freeway to let them go ahead. Think of that as an interrupt schedule, but they're not, there's a lot more ambulances. In, in, in our traditional operating systems than what we would have on roadways and what is priority. And so I guess you would say that Ford F-150s have priority over Priuses and shit like that. You know, it, it, you, could, you could summarize it that way is that if you're driving on a freeway, some cars would have priority. But I, I'm just laughing at your choice of vehicles there. <laughs>
You would have your thing, and it was one task. That's it. But you know what? We advanced from there and go, we need to do a whole lot more than that. Because while DOS did that one thing you want to do very quickly, it was a pain in the ass to exit that freaking DOS program, start up another one, do that other thing. And then there was some sort of problem that occurred. We had to go back to the other damn program and start, it was like close down, close down, open, open. You know, it was, it was, it was, it was utter rubbish. So this guy's like saying, oh, well, geez, well, I, well I, 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 he's not thinking that way, and I know what he's getting at. And here's the thing. It comes down to the fact that there's two types of people. There's people that if you allow them the choice to do more than one thing at once, they will do more than they can handle, and they will become less productive. Instead of sitting... And, and, and oh, let me finish. Instead of sitting there typing their their uh, memo they're supposed to be typing, they'll get obsessed with running Twitter and uh, Facebook and everything in the background. So they're like, I like that it only does one thing at a time because it keeps me on topic. Then there's people like me, and I'm guessing a little bit like you, that we're actually 10 times more productive multitasking than we are monotasking. Okay, uh, I, I'm just using the simple, even the simplest of users because I, my biggest clients are hospitals, I have, and I, have, I deal with lawyers and all that. Let me tell you something. Not true. What happens is their learning curve may be slower than a professional user, but they figure it out. Believe me, I as a programmer will go to a hospital and watch a user behave <laughs> and go, how the hell did you come up with that? You're oh, well, that, that's your problem. You're practicing human factors, don't you know? People don't do that yes. anymore. And they would say, and they would, and it's fun because I'm always amazed. I go to a hospital or some client, and what they do, but they're multitasking. Believe me, they'll go, and it's because there's something that they don't even know. They're like, they'll be like, oh, well, this takes too long to do, so I just, I just let that go, and then I start my other thing here. And, but you know what? My button is not working up at top, and I wish it were. Could you fix that? You know, it's like that kind of shit that goes on. Believe me, they're multitasking. This guy's full of shit. What I don't like is stop making excuses for failures in mobile OSs that should be multitasking real time. We should be saying, iOS, hell no. Let me open up multiple emails at the same time. Let me go to this Word document and keep and let that send and open up your sandboxes, your APIs to let more shit happen in the background. Than that. Don't make excuses for products. I hate it. Push the envelope because when you do it, and I've observed it with the dumbest of effing users known to man. Okay. If you let I, them I, I, I'll put my dumbest users against your dumbest users any yeah. day. <laughs> when that operating system do something, people find ways of doing it their own way. You may laugh at the way that they multitask. The point is that they're multitasking. That is my point. The operating systems that we have in the mobile devices don't put you to sleep. Put you to sleep. And for the precious of... of, of um, you know what? I don't give a shit. I'm no longer watching my language. I gotta cuss. That may be a, 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 a that, that may be a thing of our shows or whatever. I don't care. But these mobile uh, operating systems, Android. Ha I, I I'm gonna tell you right now, Google. I'm gonna say this right now. I'm getting extremely disappointed with the bullshit that's coming out now with the latest Android and stuff. Because you're mimicking the goddamn at iOS taskbar at the bottom, what doesn't fucking mean anything. Why does any goddamn person need a stupid ass freaking history? Even if I reboot the freaking iPhone device, it's the it's, it's the same damn icons I use, which have no meaning. Why don't you just shut down the fucking list and say, oh, we're, we're starting over from scratch? It'd be a hell of a leader. No, no. When you reboot Android, it does start over. I know it does, because Android still is innately concurrent versus iOS. That's why Android has a little bit more respect in that department from me than iOS. But they're wanting to do iOS shit, because their latest little slide-off, which is a web OS that can have it, the programmer that they took from OS Duarte is doing it for them. But you know what? Make it reflect what is really going on in the operating system. Oh, what we need... It, it can do it automatically and crap. Look at this and this. No, that is dumbing users down. If you let users have opportunities, I have tons of empirical evidence that show no matter how stupid and illiterate 
a user may be to what you would compare a computer user to. They find ways of making their lives better if the opportunity presents itself. Android can better defend itself by saying, well, that's going to take up batteries and energy and all that kind of stuff. Well, guess what? A lot of Android phones can replace batteries. This is a failure. Uh, I don't know one that you can't. I know. The Razer, you can't. Although I've seen a YouTube video where they show it pretty easily, you can. But there are. But when you buy Android, how many freaking Android phones can replace batteries? You know, it's not. It's not monolithic like the iPhone, where that's never a staple of the iPhone. And so, if iPhone defenders want to say, "Well, it can do what I want to do," it, it, it does what I want to do. I'm happy. Bullshit. If I gave the opportunity on iOS to do whatever you do, whether it's games, on your little gaming console, and shit like that, which I consider the iPad and all that, gaming consoles, the phone app, uh, you, if I gave you the opportunity as a, as a developer programmer to do things concurrently, you're going to find ways. You're, because we explore devices. And, oh, I didn't know I could do that. And look at this. And this... You'll explore if I give you. Yeah, if we're, if we're honest, at the end of the day, these things become toys and people will play with them till they can't play with them anymore. <laughs> exactly. Now, explore. And, and that's the thing. Do not write articles that my multitasking is overrated. This guy needs to go back to sleep, drink a scotch, do something, and rewrite this article and say, I'm not going to make excuses for mobile operating systems. I understand there is an opportunity cost that a company may say battery life is their cardinal rule that they can never no longer violate. But then I would come back and say, what good is anything if it can't do what you want it to do for the sake of battery life? Well, and honestly, that's one of the things that bugs me that they're trying to make all these devices uber. And this isn't just Apple. This is everybody. It's like it's thinner. It's thinner, so the battery's smaller. <laughs> it's like, stop it. <laughs> I, You know what? Make it two millimeters thicker, put a battery that has twice the life in. I mean, come on. <laughs> stop artificially limiting shit. <laughs> this guy on this article is full of shit when he says, I find the tablet so productive because I start a task and I always finish it in one sitting and moving on to something else. What well, no, uh, what he was talking about Jeff is that his face is full of shit. I don't. Care. He is full of shit. I I I, I, I just I to, to, to just like to play devil's advocate for a moment. I was bringing up. He's not thinking about it from a technical expert, and I agree with every damn word you're saying. But he's thinking about it from a layman's standpoint of. I, I, my whole explanation. I, 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 and I agree with you. I'm just saying I understand his logic. His logic's wrong, but I understand his logic. This article is. Please excuse the iPad for not being concurrent. Okay, that's that. That's what this article is. No, I work with users that would. You just want to pull your hair out and just like what? It, 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 what you go to such simplistic basics with some of the users I work with. Oh, uh, 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 I, I, I can top it. I have sat down with at least a dozen users in the last six months that this is how they use the computer. They open a window, they do something, but they close the window. I don't mean minimize it, I mean close it. Open something else, close that window, then open the application they closed a minute ago, go back to where they were, mm -hmm. then close it again. <laughs> they, you know, I, I, but, but, but let me tell you, they always, isn't it interesting, the most layman's user finds a way to do something efficiently like that you would maybe never think of, and they're just using it. And it's so neat when you like make a program, like my like hospital program, and they found a way to use it that I would not even think of. And I'm like impressed. I was like, damn, that is so cool how they are doing something on something that I would write. And let me tell you, let, uh, let me explain something. They have to give a history. I am so much about concurrency and parallel computing. It started from the day that I learned even the first day that I started to program. Because I 
I used to use, back in the old days, when we didn't even have any types of bindings and all this other shit that we have today that's still in as concurrent as I'd like, I still use iframes to run execution and browse, independent browser sessions as much as possible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because most of the stuff, I, I don't write websites, but if it's a web-based program, it's an application that people use. I don't really write, write websites much anymore. But if it's, if it's a web-based... You're making me hurt. <laughs> with the i no no I said I started from the early days and this is how a lot of my products are in the positions that they are they allow simultaneous things to occur yes even in a browser I figured out ways to let shit run simultaneously because I could not stand sitting at a look at this oh, look at this fucking web page it's doing nothing it just sits here it's like, a, it's, it's like it's a piece of shit brochure that I'm looking at. It does nothing. And then if I wanted it to do something, i got to click. No. This is worthless. Wait. Look, I'm, I'm waiting. Seconds. Okay, now it's here again. That's bullshit. And that one click, i got to send 10 tasks to do something else and to get something here without, and, and running in parallel and utilizing computer resources much more efficiently to do this that one fucking thing I just did. And let me tell you, I have clients that once the opportunity is there, they can be the dumbest user. They go, holy shit. And they, and they will surprise you. They will surprise you. The sentence that this guy is saying, I find using a tablet so productive because I start one task and I finish it to one or another, is diarrhea. Done. <laughs> bullshit. I don't care. This guy can come and look at me face to face. I still call him freaking bullshit. bullshit, bullshit. I don't care. He's full of shit. I guarantee if I told, if I gave him his little, his little gaming console, the iPad, uh, a, 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 a true concurrent multitasking, well, he'd, he'd, he'd be, there'd be a different fucking article here. <laughs> don't excuses. Don't make excuses for products. My whole existence on YouTube was to say we could be here. Here's where we are. Let's educate you on it and take them out. Oh, now, now, uh, a bit. now we're worse. It's not only we could be here, we're here. Uh, it, it's we know. want to lower us to here. <laughs> Tablets are a side view. They are not post-PC. They are a parallel side view to a demographic that doesn't need all the complexity of the desktop. But guess what's going to happen? It's already happened. Users have pushed Apple. Let's say, I want Pandora in the background. I want to listen to my music. That may be a simple task, but iOS didn't start out being able to do that. No, Apple Android did. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Apple got to evolve, and I guarantee you. Mark my words, I'm already right. There's not even a reason for this This guy. What's his name? Uh, James Kendrick to even write about it. I'm already right. You, you heard it here. Bit's prediction for 2012 is he's right. <laughs> oh, most operating systems are already going to allow concurrency. They're already moving up in complexity to allow things to happen simultaneously. And the users are pushing them to the limit and doing more and more and more and making requests and complaints to the companies more and more. And this bullshit line of saying, I can do what tasks if you want to do it. Well, it doesn't even exist in my lexicon. It's done. This 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 is a vapor equal to a fart in the wind. A vapor equal to a fart in the wind. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> I, I'm so pissed. At I, I know. I think that's like poor use of, of trying to come up with an insulting phrase. Is my problem. But uh, that, I, I can't, it's so, it's it's like it's like the hair. Left on fecal matter. <laughs> You're just going to get more and more colorful, aren't you? I, I, I am so pissed at articles like this. They take this backwards and, and make it. This is an excuse article for accepting the status quo. Well, now you know why I'm so, like, displexed with so much of the industry and stuff. And I've honestly given up on the industry and decided, you know what, I need to learn how to make it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm a fighter. I fight. I fight. I'm no, no, fighter. no. I, I, I give it. I, my, here's the thing. I, I'm trying to learn how to do software development right now because I've decided they're not going to get it. 
So, I just make it myself. Fuck them. <laughs> That's my official stance. Because uh, the, the, the user wants it. Fuck them. <laughs> down to the real thing. I honestly don't think the average user realizes how many things they're doing at once. They, even when they think they're doing one thing, they don't realize they're doing four or five. 